Okay, so I'm going to make a video here because it's something that I've noticed I had a lot of trouble working out at one stage and that was what happens when you've been creating something for a while and all your kind of vertexes, vertices, uh, end up going out of sync with each other. So you can see here, I really want all of these to be slap bang on the, the zero X axis and they're all over the place. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in vertex selection and I'm going to try and collect, you know, grab all of these, which is unfortunately a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to hold down shift, select them, kind of move around the model, making sure that I've got everything I can. Obviously, if you need everything to be in one specific place, you're going to probably spend a little bit of time doing this just to make sure you've caught them all. It's not that easy, is it? I've not caught that one. I've not caught that one. I think that is everything that I want to put in line now. It's unfortunate. I think I've grabbed too many things here, so I better deselect these before they actually get pulled along too. I'll try that again. <laughs> oh, I hate I hate picking up vertices. The pain. You end up getting one out, and then you're stuck. Okay, so I think here I've got all of the ones I want, and most importantly, none of the ones I don't want. A couple there that I need to grab a hold of. Okay, I think I'm done now. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Right, it's actually very, very simple, this. Now, I'll just show you a few setup things that I like. I need to make sure that my, my transform window here is open. If it's not open, just press N. And then you can see all these different properties or your options. Uh, I tend to make sure that that is on global, not local. And then what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to press S to get my scaling. Now you'll see that this scales are off in all directions, what I don't want. Um, so what I do is I can press X. Now that tells it to only scale, if you can see, along the X axis. You can do it with Y only Y axis and Z only Z axis. So you can use this for all of them. And then I'm going to just press zero. And can you see how that all kind of snaps together? You can see actually it literally is going nowhere now. I can't even, it doesn't look like I'm scaling anything. Then I'm going to click and then I'm going to come up to my transform, click on it and just type zero. And what that's done is it has snapped everything all of the vertexes that I've selected to zero. It's just a really simple trick that I think everyone should know, and it works for X, Y, and Z.